How about this this morning? New developments in a long-running American mystery. The FBI once again, folks, searching for Jimmy Hoffa's remains. The Teamsters boss was kidnapped in 1975 from a restaurant parking lot in Bloomfield Township in Michigan. His body was never discovered, and now investigators are trying to determine if he may be buried nearby. Once more, Eric Sean joins us uh, on the search. One of these days, they're going to be right, Eric. Well, uh, you're right. You are. And right now, Martha, you know it is the most enduring American murder mystery in our history. What happened to Jimmy Hoffa? And as you can see right there, the FBI and local authorities in Michigan have started the latest effort to try and find his remains. He was the Teamsters leader and labor icon who disappeared from the parking lot of the Bloomfield Hills Marcus Red Fox restaurant on July 30th, 1975. We're looking live now at what investigators are doing. They are digging in a rural field that's in Oakland Township, Michigan, after a reputed former Detroit mob boss, underboss, claimed that Hoffa was possibly buried there. The tip comes from Tony Zarelli. Zarelli told a local TV station in January about it. Zarelli is now 85 years old, and he does admit that he was in prison, though, at the time of Hoffa's disappearance. This is just the latest effort to try and find Hoffa. Other digs have included taking up driveways, excavating a horse farm back in 2006 with no results. But, you know, I think the most promising lead was found in our exclusive Fox News investigation in 2004. We broke the story of Frank Sheeran, the former mob hitman, local Teamsters president and close friend of Hoffa. Sheeran told me and his biographer, Charlie Brandt, his former lawyer, that he shot Hoffa in this uh, Detroit house near where Hoffa was last seen. So he went to that house. We took up the floor to look for blood evidence and hired retired state police investigators to spray luminol that detects the evidence of blood. Fox News found the exact blood pattern on the floor that fits Sharon's story precisely, with the most indications of blood in the foyer where Sharon told us that he shot Hoffa in the head, with seven drops leading down the hallway, where Sharon said Hoffa's body was then dragged down that hallway, out the back door, and taken to a funeral home to be cremated. The FBI, though, was not able to match any of the DNA evidence from the uh, indications of blood that we found. But of course, it's possible that Hoffa could have been shot in that house, and maybe not cremated, but buried in the slot. FBI today just beginning. They should know the results if they find anything pretty shortly. Martha, back to you. Fascinating story. I remember that story that you did uh, that was fascinating as well. Eric, thank you. Right. We'll see.